Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get GTIN, UPC, or EAN barcodes for your Shopify products. And I'm gonna show you how to do it directly inside of Shopify. And this is the right way to do it. And it's very important that you wanna get these barcodes. It's really all about compliance for things like product ads and Google shopping. I'm gonna basically just give you better performance, better placement, and you'll be within the terms of service. So this is something that you definitely want to do. And it's really about Shopify stores using Google shopping to find great customers. And integrating your store with Google Shopping is a must. You know, when you're on Google and you see those shopping ads on a search result, your Shopify store could take full advantage of that and find a lot of great customers. And the strategy here is to get unique GTIN, UPC, even EAN barcodes for your products to increase product and Google Shopping performance. Your ads are gonna work better, your Google Shopping placements are gonna work better because this is something that Google wants to see. It's really important to get these barcodes onto your products and there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify, so you're gonna to need to use an app. I'm gonna show you the app that I use. It's super easy to use, super easy to set up. We'll go over the shoulder and I'll show you exactly how to use it. But GTIN UPC barcodes, again, it's very, uh, very important in terms of an optimization standpoint for your product ads, for your Google Shopping. This isn't just a nice shiny feature. This is something that's gonna help your products perform better. And really the most important thing about the app is that it must allow for the buying of these barcodes and automatically add these barcodes to your products all inside of Shopify. And that's why I'm gonna show you GTIN UPC for Google Shopping. This is what I use, this is what I highly recommend. You see the link directly below this video. I'm gonna show you the Shopify app. Really, really easy, we'll go over the shoulder as well. But all you need to do is click that link directly below this video, bring it over right over here. You see GTIN UPC for Google Shopping. Perfect five out of five star reviews over here. You can go through here and see that it's working exactly as planned. But we're gonna go over the shoulder. All you need to do is press the install button, free to install, free GTINs included, automatically adding GTINs. You see the back end gonna look something like this. Very, very easy to use. You'll see all of the performance lift inside of your Google Merchant Center when you add those GTINs. Here's an example of getting an additional 330 clicks every single week, right, not month, not year, every week, 330 new potential buyers just by adding those GTIN. So it's very, very important. All you need to do is press the black install button. You'll get this into your store. We'll go over the shoulder now and I'll show you exactly how this works. So we'll go ahead and press install over here to get this app into our store. We'll be brought over here into the permissions page where we'll just press install app right over here at the top. And then we'll be brought over into the onboarding and dashboard. Now what we see is basically the setup here in terms of our pricing. And it's incredibly easy in terms of adding things in here, but of course we'll be able to do the free GTN test over here. We can come over here and click this to take a look at the instructions in terms of what we're gonna do, in terms of how to add GTNs to our Shopify products. It's an incredibly simple process. I'm gonna walk you through the process of automatically adding GTINs two products and basically the way we do that is to set up a collection and we could walk through these different steps over here but I'm going to show you real quick in the back end. So I've created a ca uh, collection inside of Shopify called auto add GTINs and then I've added just a couple of products that I want to start setting up here with GTIN barcodes. You see my uh, couple of t-shirts that I've added here. You could add as many products as you want into this collection here. So going back over here right we've done all these steps. Now we wanna actually go ahead and get the barcodes. Back in the app, we just simply come over here to Actions and click Auto Add GTINs Options. This is gonna load up this dialog box. Very, very simple. We're just gonna come through here and we're gonna go ahead and find that collection. Okay, we have our Auto Add GTINs collection. Important that we named it that way. And we're clicking over here. Very important to also note products and variants. Right, we're getting both inside here. And all products and variants without a barcode or a GTIN will get a GTIN, you see over here. So very, very simple. We don't need to worry about any of these extra options, but we do have the ability to only add to the first variant or only to overwrite incorrect barcodes. All we need to do is now press start adding GTINs. As we do that, we'll be able to monitor the progress of this job right over here, and you'll see exactly when it's done. Takes just a couple of seconds, and as you see here, we have a little pop-up message. Error unfinished, there are no unused and finished there are 10 that were added. So congratulations, you just added your first GTINs. I mean, it couldn't be any simpler 
And this is massively valuable for us. We saw back over on the app page talking about a huge lift, 300 plus additional clicks just by implementing a GTIN. So we have that over here and you're gonna be able to see all of the different variants here and all the different setups and you can kind of see how many you've bought, how many you use, see you get 10 for free just when you set up here and you'll be able to see all of your different options. Really cool, powerful thing is you'll be able to download both your unused and used GTINs. And uh, remember, this is all about increasing performance. So there is additional steps that you'll want to do in terms of finalizing what's going on here. This is really dependent on how you want to connect to the Google Merchant Center. There are definitely a bunch of different apps like the Google Channel, which is built in to Shopify. There's advanced Google XML feed. You could even do it manually in terms of uploading your XML. But really, I highly recommend the Google Channel. It's very, very easy to do. But you could just walk through these instructions in terms of how to add these into your Google Merchant Center. And remember, all of this totally worthwhile, to come back over here to the app page, right? you can get an additional 330 clicks. This is just this example. You'll be able to go inside of your Google Merchant Center, and this actually speaks specifically to adding GTINs to products which have issues. So you could see an immediate uplift by going ahead and implementing this. This is a must-have app for your store. If you're doing any type of ad performance ads, Google Shopping, anything like that. And you see, you can also do the bulk adding GTINs via export import. I showed you that little section over there in this app. So really very simple to use. You see the different pricing in terms of the cost, very competitive, great pricing when it comes to these GTINs. One-stop shop right over here. You're getting them all in here and you could automatically add them. You could export them. And it's a very, very powerful app. So that was GTIN UPC for Google Shopping. As you saw, incredibly easy to use, incredibly easy to set up, but super powerful. We'll be able to get those GTINs, those barcodes, right inside of our Shopify store. We can connect them to any product. And as you saw before, that really big uplift in clicks, just because you're implementing these GTINs, the UPCs, this is what Google wants to see. It's gonna make your products and your Google Shopping perform a lot better. So I highly recommend it, especially because you're gonna get 10% off an exclusive discount for watching this video. All you need to do is send support an email before you buy the GTINs and they'll get you on that discounted plan. Take a look at the link directly below this video, get this in your store, and I hope this helps you make some money. Thanks a lot.